about court in the same video now one thing about cj that we all know is when he talks about court he's not going to lie about anything that's going on he's going to say what he needs to say he's going to say what's happening and that's it now there's only one person in this situation that continues to act like they're winning every single time and we already know who that is and in the same video we also get to see what lexi did for cj's birthday so if you're ready to get into all of that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Well guys, court went extremely great, and honestly, I think it's our last time actually having to appear. The next time we go to court, it'll be on the computer where we hear the final ruling of this whole custody battle case that I created, because if you don't know, I'm the one that took us to court. Does anybody find it funny that CJ said, I'm the one that took us to court? <laughs> Because if y'all don't know, Charlene loves to talk about how CJ took her to court. CJ took her to court, and yes, girl, we know. Of course, he had to. You told him to. So you want to lawyer up? Let's lawyer up. Let's do this. That's easy. Take me to court, then. Do it. So we hear from CJ that things went extremely well, and they only have to show up on video for the next court date, and that should be the last one. I don't know about y'all, but I'm happy to hear this. I can't wait till this court thing is over. It's just gone on too long. Charlene wanted to keep the kids from him. It's not going to happen. I don't know if she wants to get money, but even if she does get money, good for her. Hopefully her children will be in a better position when she realizes that she still needs CJ and still needs his money. And if she doesn't get money, I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully she is able to take some of those bags and bags of money that she keeps saying she makes and take care of her children with it. My birthday is on Good Friday? Is that a good thing? Or? Yeah. That's so cool on a good day. Yeah. Good Friday. Good Friday. She did so cool, his birthday is on a Good Friday in a Gucci store. Kevin's right. Kevin's right. So I'm 35 now, and if you look around the room, everyone older than me has a similar thing that I might have to transition to. <laughs> Am I going bald? Oh, no, look how good his hair is. I, I was talking about cutting it though. I want to cut my hair. No. If you do remember, CJ did say he is cutting his hair at 10 million subscribers. Do you think he still will do it? Let me know in the comment section. And would you want to see CJ with the blonde head? I want to join the club, man. Hair is overrated, bro. Hair is overrated, tell. I'm going overrated. Michael Jordan on him, man. I'm cutting my hair today. Enjoy it while you got it, baby. Enjoy it while you got it. Enjoy it in the bag. I will put my hair in the bag and I always look at it and say, that used to be me. Nah, you need to get one of them fake bald heads, bro. <laughs> Is this a thing? Yeah, you see with the ball cap. I'm gonna get a ball cap, fake ball head, see how I look. If I like it, I'm transitioning to the ball head. I think that is a better idea just to see what he's going to look like and see if he likes that. He might not like it, and if he cuts all of his hair off, what if it just doesn't grow back? It's gonna be all three of us. Don't worry about us today. Freak! Now I have to come harder! That's what you might not know about CJ, is that immediately he starts thinking about others. I know how he is. And I know as soon as he walks in, he's like, how do I live in the room? How do I make them feel good? Now this is his day. We gotta make him feel good. CJ's birthday, watch out. <laughs> now I definitely noticed that about CJ. He does have that personality where he wants to make sure everybody else is good, feeling good. And it seems like he gets energy from doing that, but at the same time, his energy is drained from having to do that. It's good that CJ has friends that care about his well-being, his happiness, making him feel good on his special day. Hey, let's go, baby. Well, hey. well, we all drink. We all drink. Happy birthday, CJ. Happy birthday. Come on, let's get in there. Yeah. I love everyone in this room. I appreciate you guys for spending my birthday with me. <laughs> and hopefully we can keep doing this every year because this is lit. We could do this again, like You sure can, you okay. already know. <laughs> well, we can toast to that. CJ. Right. CJ actually said in this video that not many people have gone back to this room in the Gucci store. And Obama. Obama, oh yes. Yeah. Is that right? Definitely put me up there with Obama. So they've done this for Obama, Trump, and CJ, so cool, wow. <laughs> you know what else Gucci? brought their whole store to my house once. Lonzi made yes, them do did. it. And they told me they only did that for Elton John and I didn't know who that was. So I looked them up and I'm like, okay. Elton John's super rich, right? 
<laughs> I don't know why they did this for me. <laughs> I'm sure this made him feel really special for his birthday. We love you. Thanks for coming. Everybody. And it's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's right. Is anybody else excited to see Kenneth there as well? It's so great to see that they still have a good relationship. We haven't really seen Kenneth or his children lately. So it's nice to see that both Kenneth and CJ still have a good relationship. For the longest time, Kenneth and CJ were not on good terms. So to see that they're still good, I'm happy to see that. My most expensive gift ever? No. <laughs> oh, you heard what my brother got me. I got this. Lonzo didn't tell you that? You don't have that. I swear to God, I have this I'm shirt. about to check your profile. You don't have to, I have it. This is a shirt that Chop got him. And CJ thought he actually had this same shirt, but later on in the video, we do see that it is a different color and the top of the shirt is actually different than what he had. But we all know CJ, he shops a lot and he feels like he has everything. That's what we said before Thank you got you. I'm is that you, you No, is that you train it for what you want? Oh. And you're in the spot. I've never so you, anything. No, she's here, she already said. So I said, what if he already has it? I've never taken anything back. You're already here. I haven't taken it yet, but I opened it. Can you please check my profile? Because that's where I wore this. Yeah, I'll check it, but I love it. This just means that Chop knows my style, too, by the way. If I got this shirt and he got it for me, that means he's like, CJ will like this. And he's definitely right. I have every color in these. Because this is my favorite shirt. Really. This is not the same shirt. I mean, it is, but it isn't because it's a different color. And like I said, the top of it looks different. Fresh, super fresh with the embroidered double G's on it, man. You know, it's Good Friday. I am a G, the top G. Come on, man. And, uh, and you are at the Gucci store. I am yeah, at the Gucci G. store. Another G. Let's just add up the G's, man. Do we got knives? Oh, we got we got candles? Oh, no, no. They overly prepared. Let's do this. Let's do this. What kind of bracelet you got on? What kind of bracelet? Oh, Gucci? Just the Gucci bracelet. Okay. Okay. No, just a little Gucci links. Just a little Gucci link. No, chop the Gucci. Just checking everything. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing, man. I'm all sweaty. I got hot flashes. Is that a 35 thing? I never had that before. I got it like right here, a little hot. Man. This next part, we get to see this boy. This is Chop's son. He just came from the gym and he does boxing. And it made me think of Leon because we saw Leon and CJ boxing. They were working out together. And this is actually something that Leon told his mother that he still wanted to do. He said he missed working out with CJ and he still wanted to do boxing. But of course, we never saw him do it again. You got tall, huh? No, I don't do it. Man, he got a tall and older in the face. What the? Is that what's up? Thank you, Enzo, man. I appreciate it. You definitely getting older. He's gonna be taller than you. Crazy, right? That's not crazy. He used to be little, little. He used to be little guy. Yeah, he's been in the gym. Oh, you're so See, Andy, you know how stiff I used to be. I can't do that. This could be Leon, y'all, but his mother decided to take him away from every man in his life and just have him around women and girls. And I guess Rico, but does he really count? Hey, Enzo, Enzo, when have you ever seen somebody have their own private hidden room? Where did he come, come from? from? I didn't even know it was a thing. Lexi hooked it up. Where did he come from? Huh? Oh, he was coming from the gym? Yeah. You just walked in from there from the gym? Yeah, he just slid, slid in. <laughs> See, now this is, I don't know what else I can expect. I don't even, I didn't even want anything today. I just was like, I got my kids. That's all I cared about. But now it's like, okay. I got to start thinking for myself how I can turn up now. <laughs> Next, we get to see them sing happy birthday to CJ, and he is so excited. Birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear CJ. Oh, your little melt going up. Okay, we Happy birthday to you. <laughs> My only wish is. To be richer than I already am. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was lit. So that was 36 candles. I'm 35, but apparently she said that extra one is for luck. Right. Okay. I'm so glad CJ had a good birthday, and it's great that court went well, so it didn't ruin his birthday. Next, we get to hear Lexi talk about setting up this event. Lonzi and I pulled off private party at the Gucci store. Shout out to CJ and all his friends that showed up. Thank you so much, everyone. 
Happy birthday! Who brought these forks? What the forks? Is this a prank? <laughs> That's Shout out to Anti because he did shout her out and showed her candles and it even has CJ's face on it, which is really cool. Another gift for my birthday? Okay. Now this apparently came from one of my biggest supporters, Auntie Hyena, aka Opulent Scents. She has her own company now and she's selling fragrant candles. I ain't gonna lie. I hate, whoa, 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 <laughs> is that my face? Ain't no way. Well, we gotta collab now, we gotta collab. We gotta start selling CJ So Cool candles, bro, hold on. Oh my God, what the freak? I love this woman and her family. I love her husband, I love her kids, I love her story, I love her ambition. She is very qualified to be one of the biggest influencers, if you ask me, because she's super consistent. Y'all gotta let me know what you think about the situation. What do you think about CJ possibly winning in court? What do you think about court being almost over? Did you love his birthday video? And what do you think will be the final ruling for this next court day? Will it be 50-50? Or do you think Charlene will get more time than CJ? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Oh, oh. CJ, you looking scared, man. I always tell them that they're the actors. They don't look scared. They don't look scared. CJ looks scared. CJ, they got you, CJ. Oh my God, they got you. They, uh, you're not scared. They didn't get you. <laughs> Dad, yeah, do the moves, do the dance. Woo! Oh, uh, uh, huh? You wanna get Daya? No, you're a monster. Come on, Daya, hit him with it. Do the dance. Now it's time to clap up, slide, and stomp. Remember that? Do it, Daya. Do that, you know how to do it. <laughs> Good job, Daya. <laughs> oh my God. They coming. They coming for you. Oh my God. <laughs> you not scared, CJ? Dad, you scared? <laughs> it's crazy how much they like this, man. man. They don't even know he from Gary, Indiana. You know, I'm from Gary, Indiana, so. <laughs> ah! You back to life? Yeah. It was a prank? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Look, Dan. That wasn't a prank. Why do I look like this? Hey, I'm a hammer.